So today we are going to discuss about the practical program in the part two of the CCN lab. So in part two, you will be studying the distance vector algorithm and you will be executing a program on this using this particular algorithm. So let us discuss about the distance vector algorithm. So the basic assumption in this case is uh, every router knows its own address and the cost to reach each of its directly connected neighbors. So that means each neighbor, each, each router will be knowing its own address and uh, the cost to reach its directly connected neighbors, it will be known to each router or a node. So basically it is going to use a Bellman forward algorithm. Uh, a distributed route computation usually uh, using only neighbors information. So here the route computation is going to be carried out using uh, neighbors information. So routing table, uh, it is going to use a routing table per node. So that means each node is going to maintain a routing table and it is going to be updated based on the link changes or if any cost changes are changed here or distance is changed. So say for example, how the routing table exists. So routing table for A, so it is going to list at a minimum the next hop for the difference, different destinations. It will be like this. Say uh, we are going to consider one simple network here. So this is a routing table at A here. So destination, next hop will be there. So destination from A, from A to destination is B. Okay, so next stop is going to be B here. So for the, if the destination is C from A, so next stop itself is going to be the C because it is directly connected as well as B is also directly connected. That's why next stop is going to be B here. So similarly, uh, now if you take D here, okay, if the destination is D here, so the next stop, because how we are going to reach the destination C here, so it has to be how it has to a D has to be reached to uh, A has to reach the, the destination D by means of through this hop C. That's why the next stop is going to be C here. Now E is directly connected. So next stop is E. F is also directly connected G. Now look at the G here. So next stop is going to be F. Then we can reach the G here. Okay. So so this is how the routing table is going to be maintained at each node okay so here it is only shown to the shown with respect to the node a now let us see the bellman's fold algorithm so it is going to define distance at each node x okay it is going to define a distance at node x so dx y it is going to be the cost of cost of least cost path between from a to y it is the cost of least cost path from x to y here dx y means so update the distance update the distances based on the neighbors so it is going to update the distance based on the neighbors so this distance is going to be changed here okay so now how it is going to update so based on this equation so dx y is equal to minimum of CXV plus DVY for overall neighbors V. So here V stands for it is going to be neighbor node, neighbor node. Okay. So say suppose this is a simple network here. U is the source. Say suppose Z is the destination. U wants to send a message to the this one. So uh, actually it is going to find the shortest path using this Bellman fold or a distance vector algorithm. So DU du z so this is given by minimum of cost of u v so that means u the nearest neighbor is going to be v here okay so cost of u v cost between this one plus dz dv z so that means distance between from here to here that will be taken care and similarly this immediate neighbor is c u w cost between u and w plus distance from here to this one okay so this is how you are going to calculate the shortest uh, shortest path between u to z okay now so what how the what all it con consists okay so it it consisting of uh, iterative asynchronous uh, at each node okay and it is going to be caused by link local link cost 
it is going to be caused by local link cost local link cost change and also it is going to be caused by distance vector update message from neighbor okay so these things are going to be iteratively calculated based on the if at all any links or cost is going to be changed okay and are distributed in nature in that means each node notifies neighbors only when its distance vector changes so that means whenever any changes are occur so it is going to notify the neighbors so neighbors then notify their neighbors if necessary again if the other neighbors are also connected to the one node so other neighbors are also going to be noted to the this information okay so how this is going to be carried out the how the algorithm works here so each node it is going to wait for change in the local link change in the local link cost or message from any neighbor so that means what i will do if any cost is changed one node is going to notify the neighbor node so again neighbor node may intimate the other nodes so that's why every node is going to wait for these information okay so once they get these information they are going to recompute the estimates they are going to recompute the estimation then if the distance to any destination has changed notify the neighbors again if any distance to the destination if it is changed then it is going to be notified to the neighbors again node is going to wait for again any changes okay so how we have arrived at this equation okay so cost of c of x v it is the cost for a direct link from x to v where v is going to be the intermediate node so node x maintains cost of direct links c of x v okay it is going to c of x v means what it is the cost of direct link between so okay x is going to maintain this cost of direct links c x v so d x y it is going to be the estimate of cost from x to y okay node x maintains a distance vector dx it is going to maintain distance vector dx okay so dx is given by dxy it is going to be a vector it is dx is going to be the vector it is okay so vector is defined by this dxy so y belongs to n so the node node x maintains its neighbors distance vector node also maintains its neighbors distance vector okay so for each node v x maintains dv so it is going to maintain a vector dv okay so dv is given by this vector here each node v periodically sends dv that is distance it is going to be sent to very periodically to its neighbors and neighbors update their own inform over the neighbors are going to update their own distance vectors okay so that's why we have arrived at this equation okay so this is how we are going to uh, the algorithm works here so this algorithm could be understood with the example with this particular example okay so actually each node is going to maintain a routing table so we have uh, we have displayed in a different form here so this information contains regarding all the information at node here okay so this is going to be the initial state so how it is how this table is going to be filled here a means a to a okay so node these are the nodes distance to node here a to a is going to be zero because it's this itself is going to be there is no distance here so it is going to be zero a to b is going to be seven a to c is going to be infinity why it is given as infinity because there is no direct link because initially there is no direct link so that's why we don't know we don't know how what is going to be the distance to the node c from a because there are many possibilities are there here there are many possibilities are here okay so this could be this could be the uh, one path this could be one another part so that's why here we don't know about this okay so because c is there is c is not directly connected to a so that's why initially it is going to be filled with the infinite so similarly d is also filled with the infinite then e is going to be one here it is given here according to the, this network so similarly these values are going to be filled here b to b is going to be 7 so b to a is going to be 7 here b to a is going to be again 7 here b to b is 0 b to c is 1 here b to c is 1 here 
again b to d b to d is it is not there is no direct connection here okay so that's why infinity here then uh, b to e is 8 so similarly these information also are filled here okay based on this network okay so this is going to be the initial state now so what it does distance uh, d is going to send a vector to e say suppose now d is going to send the information to the e here okay so what is the d here so this is the information about the other nodes at a particular node d here so this information will be sent to the e here this information will be sent to the e so what this contains d is two way d is two away here that means so e is going to be two distance that is two unit from d here okay so the see here e okay d to e is going to be two here so it is going to be indication that e will understand that d is going to be two uh, two unit distance from d here okay then so then what about this c here d to c is two here d to c is two here when this information is sent to e so e will think that it could be able to reach c with this distance that is two plus two it is going to be two so which is less than infinity see because here earlier e to c was earlier e to c was how much it is because e could not be uh, sorry d could, uh, e c because here e is not directly connected to c so that's why it is going to be infinite now it is going to calculate that so it is going to be four okay see here see here, see here. earlier what information we had filled here e to c it was infinite now when this information is sent to e so it will calculate the distance so it is it has found the distance to the c is going to be e c is going to be four okay so this information is entered here okay now so it is going to set there so path to c is going to be four so this information will be entered here okay it is going to update the information as soon as d has sent the information to e okay now assume that b wants to send a vector to a now b wants to send a vector to vector information to a so this is the information at b here so this information will be sent to a here okay so what it contains so it is going to say that if b is going to say that i am seven from a so b is seven distance that means unit seven unit distance from a here so and zero from b so b itself is going to be zero here okay and one from c one from c okay and eight from e and eight from e here okay eight from e so this information will be sent to a okay now now it is going to think that earlier so it is going to a is going to find the distance to c here so now it is going to think that c is 8 plus 1 that means 8 so that means 7 plus 1 8 okay so a is going to think that c is could be able to reach with the distance of 8 so that information is going to be entered here earlier a is not directly connected to c so that's why it, this information was infinite now it has been updated to 8 okay now assume that e sends to sends a vector to a e is going to send a vector to a now what is this information here i am one from a so what it says i am one from e is one from away from a here okay one from a. okay so now based on this it is going to calculate four plus eight okay four plus one which is less than eight here now what you could be able to find here so earlier this was eight here so four plus one is going to be less than eight okay so now 
this information is updated earlier the a to c was 8 here now when this has sent here so again this has been updated here earlier this was 8 it was calculated as a 8 here now when e has sent the information so now a is going to think that c could be reached to c could be reached to okay c could be reached to uh, from a with a distance of 5 so that has been updated okay so similarly d is calculated a to d is going to be found to be 3 here okay so this information will be updated okay so this is how the whenever every node it uh, sends the information to the neighboring nodes so it is going to update the the, the uh, it is going to update the routing table okay so now so until our so we take into consideration of all when all the information has been sent here so that is until the convergence so after the convergence so this is the information so with this what we get over to see is okay so the minimum distance okay so minimum distance from any node to other node say suppose a to a is going to be zero a to a is going to be zero here now a to b is going to be six see a to b is actually here it is going to be six so but the minimum distance it could reach here is a to b is six how it is six see here so here it is going to be seven so this is this is another way it is going to be nine here but another way is here so one two two six so this is going to be six so th this has been updated like this so c how c could be reached here so this way is seven so this is way is going to be least path okay so c is going to be five here okay so this has been updated so d could be reached here okay so this way is going to be lengthier so only information is going to be two plus one three so like this it converges with the minimum distance so this is how the distance vector algorithm works here okay now this is the program here okay so what we are going to get here so we are going to get the enter the nodes okay so what initially what we have to do is we have to enter the number of nodes how many nodes are there in the in the entire entire network here so that information has to be entered then we have to enter the record for each node we have to enter the record for each node so how each node is uh, the value how each node is uh, related to other nodes how they are going to be related to other nodes that means we have to mention the distance here so that information we are going to enter here so okay so that information is entered here so initially so 999 so because this is what is if it is not directly connected see infinite we cannot write the infinite here so that's why here 999 we have written here okay okay so this is this is how we are going to enter here finally so this is the result here so what we are going to enter here enter the number of nodes so assume that four nodes are there we are going to enter the record for root a a to a is one a to b is two a to c is three a to a a to d is four so this is record for the root a so similarly we are going to enter these values a to b again two b to b is three here b to c is four b to d is five so like this we are going to enter all the root information for the nodes okay we are going to enter this information then it is going to calculate this here okay cost of root a so a a is going to be one via a only okay so a to a is going to be one here a to a is going to be one so that information a to b is going to be two here via a so that means a could be reached to b with the minimum distance of two via a so like this we are going to get the result here okay so this is going to uh, with the help of uh, the distance vector algorithm we could be able to reach each node with the minimum distance okay so this is how the program works